Steve Buck Edmonds, lecture 4.01, Steve Buck Edmonds, slide stage 1, stage 1, example number 8, and slide number 20. This is from Steve Buck Edmonds group 15-16, stage 1. Therefore, the question as you are seeing here, strongest reducing agent amongst the following is option A, option B, option option C, option D, okay. Just explain you, I'm going to explain you how it is going to be, how, what is the answer and how we can uh, do it very easily. Excellent. So this is going to be example number 8. So, Option A is given as P2O7 to minus. Calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus. Let's select X represent. Oxidation number of phosphorus. So this will be 2X minus 14 is equal to minus 2. Therefore, x is going to be plus 6. Okay, next option B, P2O6, 2 minus. So for this, oxidation number of phosphorus is plus 5. Okay. Next is H3PO4, phosphoric acid. Just apply the normal rule of uh, redox reactions that we learned last year how to calculate the oxidation number of phosphorus so easily with the basic rules. Okay, now the question is. Which is the strongest reducing agent? Please understand, strongest reducing agent is a substance that can be oxidized easily. For that, what you require is You have to identify the molecule amongst these choices which is going to be oxidized easily. That substance which can have lowest oxidation number because the highest oxidation number, the highest oxidation number of phosphorus cannot behave as a reducing agent because it cannot be oxidized. Why it cannot be oxidized? Already it has attained the highest oxidation number beyond which it cannot be oxidized. Therefore, the strongest reducing agent is that which can be oxidized easily and which is the lowest oxidation number in our option. Option B is the correct answer because it is plus 1 here. In option C, you have uh, 5. In option B, you have once again plus 5. In option A, you have plus 6. Therefore, option D is the correct answer. Okay.